in fact, I was lucky to be able to continue the same line of research that I was in as a grad student when I came to HRL. In fact, we did a lot of work in artificial impedance surfaces, electrically tunable surfaces, where we demonstrated uh, beam steering of microwaves, for example. Uh, and then we got into uh, something we created at HRL, the holographic surface, where now we pattern the surface as a function of position using techniques basically borrowed from optical holography. And then that allowed us to uh, actually make antennas out of these surfaces. We could control the radiation pattern. We could have waves sort of creep around solid objects and radiate from the other side. Uh, so this gets into this uh, topic of cloaking, which is popular today. Mm -hmm. And then when I came to UCSD, well, I continued to work on artificial impedance surfaces of various kinds, among other things. Uh, one topic in particular is uh, anisotropic surfaces. So... We're looking at, for example, the mathematics of patterning anisotropic patterns. Think of uh, arrangements of little elongated patches or dipoles or things like that that don't form into a regular square lattice. And now you want to manipulate them, their, their size and shape and orientation, over uh, a flat or a curved surface. Well, you can't take these... these um, these particles that have a particular orientation and mesh them easily with other regions in different orientations. So how do you do that mathematically? I mean, you could draw it, just draw arbitrary shapes, but you need them to have a certain impedance function. So we're coming up with uh, mathematical techniques for doing that. One layer of these photonic crystals we were working on and put a metallic backing on it and just keep that top surface texture and in fact it turned out to have the same surface wave uh, control properties so that became the high impedance surface. <laughs>